Welcome back to another Degenerates in Gaming video. Today is a little bit of a different FIFA video because uh, my Wi-Fi is not too hot. I'm in a new location and uh, basically I've struggled to play games online whatsoever so I can't even get the new Silver, silver Stars card which is my goal for today. So instead I'm going to be opening a buttload of uh, bronze packs and testing out the bronze pack method as you probably could tell by the title and to see if it still works nowadays. I don't know, something to do. Probably going to be a couple different types of videos over this next week since the Wi-Fi is not good enough to play online. So yeah, I'm just going to test out a buttload of different, I don't know, new style of FIFA videos and whatnot. But basically, for anyone who doesn't know what the bronze pack method is, is basically you open up bronze packs and just list up and sell everything within them. <laughs> it's really straightforward, and you actually end up making a fair amount of coins on them more often than not. Like... Basically, you just go on and basically instantly compare 500, let's see. See right there, it's like it's cheapest at 500. If I list this right here, probably it'll sell at 400. That's already half the pack back right there. Sorry if I'm a little quieter than normal, but look, this dude's 500. Look, list them up for 400 as well. You've already made your coins back right away in your first pack. You, you know what I'm saying? Now, sometimes you will get dud packs where, like, this guy will only sell for 200. Now, if you can relist them up, up in time and time again, you'll actually end up getting a fair amount of coins. Now, most of the time, these managers don't sell either. Now, let me compare. Yeah, 200 coins, not worth anything. Sometimes you'll find cool stadiums and things like that will sell or badges, but more often than not, it will not be the case. And as you can see, there's only three transfers guys up here right now on the squad. Now, I think my goal is right now is I'm going to rip a buttload of bronze packs and just basically show you the results of them at the very end and just show you how much profit I can or cannot make right now you can see my coin total is at 185,000 I'm basically I'm trying to do something to kill time make coins uh, as well since I can't really hop online and play because how laggy it is so we're going to basically test this out try to see how many coins we can make from bronze pack method and see if it still works today in the current FIFA 22 genre whenever with the markets being so screwy and everything now uh I'll be back in I don't know 15 20 minutes when I have completely filled up my transfer list to 100 and I will show you show you all the cards that have sold and everything on the market I'll be back in a second Alrighty, as you can see here, I filled up my transfer list all the way to 200 full, and as you can see, some of the guys have already sold, and I'm just going to scroll through this, and the guys that instantly sold right away. Now, you're going to see a lot of guys that are selling right away are basically big-name guys that are big leagues. I didn't talk about this much beforehand, but I'm talking about it now. Leagues that are going to sell always for you during this bronze pack method are the ones within the SBCs, league SBCs going on right now. They're like almost always, always will sell, and those are the big boy cards you're going to look for, especially right here like this. Okoflex, I think that's how you pronounce it for West Ham. Any Premier League guys sell for way more. Like, that was 2500 for a bronze card. So you can make a lot of profit on things like that. MLS guy, Bundesliga, Saudi Arabian. Now I'm just going to clear it off here. But then also, like you said, you spread out. You have a lot of cards throughout the list, too, that are uh, cheaper that you'd sell up for, like, 200 And surprisingly, some of these will sell. Sometimes it's going to take several relists to probably make your profit back. Uh, and also you got to look out for French managers. I'd like to say right now, I forget what the actual selling point they are right now at. I just listed them up, but uh, French managers will sell because there's not many of them in the game. As you can see, I just list them all up. Now also my rule of thumb with kits is, is if I think the kit looks cool, I list it up for like one or two times. And if it doesn't sell after one or two times, I just like quick sell it. Uh, I'm hoping this guy sells right here for 1100 Somehow, for some reason, this dude from... The SPFL, what's it called, the Scottish Premier League, is worth nothing right now. But, uh, hey, I mean worth a lot right now, so hopefully he sells another cool kit. But these are all the cards. I'm just going to take a quick scroll through of everything. So that's basically what I you, you buy and list up. And then there's also another method is you can keep buy and keep these guys, like the MLS guy right here. You can buy and keep, like, buy the packs and keep them and use them in the SBC, League Up SBC upgrades. I'm just showing you, like, the maximum profit, quick profit right now is see how much you truly can make by listing up and getting 100 plus cards. Now I'm going to pop back in in an hour and show you how much coins I have made and if I've made all my coins back right away. Uh, right now, based off of most of the bronze cards I got, I'm assuming I won't make all my coins back right away. But I'll relist up and prove to you, hopefully, that uh, you make your coins back and make a fair amount of money, uh, money, coins, whatever, <laughs> through this method. And hopefully you're enjoying this video so far. Uh, I'll be back in a moment for you in an hour for me. 
Uh, as you can see on the screen right now, I just saved this post. I made a little mistake in between. I got bored uh, sitting around, and I hopped back into Ultimate Team early and realized I had my Rivals Rewards available. So I collected it, and that gave me another or additional 16,000 coins. <laughs> so in a minute, uh, in a second, when I show you the end of the video here in a second, you're gonna have, I'm gonna subtract 16,000 off of whatever I <laughs> did actually get to show you truly how much I did earn from the bronze pack method. So I'll be back in a second with the final bit of the video. My bad for making it a little confusing. I just real I just completely forgot I was recording a video and it's like, ooh, rifles rewards. <gasps> I'll be better next time. All right, welcome back. After my little debacle, I finally finished off all my stuff. And as you can see, after just one single listing, I was at, well, I'm at 202,000 coins. If you minus the 16,000 off, I'm at 186,000, which is what I began at on the money. Now, here's some of the things I've gone through. Now, you're thinking to yourself probably right now, like, uh, is it worth the time if I do this if I'm only, like, scraping right back to even? Well, there's some simple thing. Ignore the Luca Bacchio that was from Rivals Rewards, <laughs> the, the, the duplicate. Yeah, just, uh, just to show you one thing, all of these cards right here, I didn't... I all have in my club now technically, or I can relist them up every single one of these, and I have broke even as of this moment in time right now. Now I can relist these up and I will make more profit back, probably if you keep relisting these over and over and over again, because some of these cards are guaranteed to sell like the Chinese uh, Super League guys, and like I saw one of them earlier over here. Like, this guy's bound to sell like think cards like this. Or you can also hold on to these cards where they're more valuable later on. Or you can enter them into the bronze to silver upgrade SBC and hope to get a good card there if you're trying to do the league SBC route. Now, I'm just probably going to leave the video end off here just showing you it is profitable, but it's not always quick. You're going to have to relist them a couple times if you're going for pure profit. Or you can keep these bronze cards, break even, and go list them up as silvers. <laughs> Sorry for the little mistake, make it a little confusing, but if you do the math, I'm literally break even on the bronze pack method right now, but you gotta consider it in the fact I have roughly six pages of bronze cards now, which is 60 cards roughly, of bronze cards that did not sell, that I can relist up or send to my club and sell them at a future date when their price is higher because of SBCs, or upgrade them. So it's up to you what you wanna do with that and that method. But yeah, that's basically how the bronze pack method works. Uh, this has been the Judge Generates in Gaming. Uh, hopefully this week provides a new interesting outlook on uh, content. Hopefully it's decent and keeps your attention until I get back to the more Ultimate Team uh, fundamentals reviews type stuff, if I can even speak English. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe.